Hey everybody, this is Brian. Welcome to the 25th Flutter tutorial. Go to the Flutter website, routing and navigation, and read up on core concepts. You'll need to understand two main concepts, a route and a navigator. A route is exactly what it sounds like, a route going from point A to point B. You're going to go from your house to your friend's house. How are you getting there? And let's say you want to go back from your friend's house back to your house. How are you getting there? That's really what a route does. Navigator actually takes those routes and makes them do things, makes your application move from point A to point B. And you can see kind of a simple example here. And we're going to build something as always. So we've got our little application up and it does absolutely nothing. It's magnificent, isn't it? So um, what we're going to do here is we are going to make a new material app. In that material app, we're just going to say the title. Whoops. I don't want to call it router. Let's call it navigation. Now, a couple things you should note right off the bat. We need to put our routes here, but our routes don't exist yet. So if you type routes, it's going to want to know some things. So we're going to say We need a comma instead of a period. That's why that's freaking out on us there. And in there is where we will put our routes. But as I said, they don't exist yet. We're getting to that point. Now we need our home. And for now, we're just going to say null. Let's build this out here. So first thing we want to do is create a new. And I like putting a directory. And I like saying screens. But you can kind of do this just really however you want. We're going to import the material.dart. All I know is I have had this cold for about a week. My girlfriend gave it to me, and I am so, so over this cold right now. It's just like it's one of those that started like in your nose and then started working its way down. I like didn't even have a voice yesterday. It was ridiculous. So if I sound horrible today, I mean, yesterday was just really bad. All right, so... We've got our build method. Remember, whenever I say build, it means render. So we're going to actually render something onto the screen here. We're going to return a new scaffold. All right, now in our scaffold, we're going to say app bar. Now we want a body. And this is what we were swapping out in our previous uh, tutorial here. Uh, but this is the what we're doing today, routing and navigation, is the actual correct way to do it. Doesn't mean you can't swap out. Um, I mean, it works as designed. It just means this is probably the most efficient way, especially when you start getting to a lot of different things. And you'll see why here in just a bit. So we're going to say edge insets all. We'll say 32.0, just because I really like 32. And then child, new center, and this is a pretty typical design pattern here where you'll have a container for your padding and then you're going to center something and then you'll have a column and in the column you'll have a series of widgets and in this case our widgets are going to be a text box, or I'm sorry, a text field not text field, just a text. And a raise button. All right, so we have our on pressed. And what we need to do here is we need to fill this in a little bit. Um, now this is the actual route, and we're going to be working with the navigator. So what we're going to say here 
is make our anonymous function navigator dot of because we want the context that we're currently in um, think of the context of it's like a context of a conversation if I say I'm going out but the context is I'm talking to my wife well that might not be too well but if I say I'm going out the context is to my friends then hey that might be a good thing so really the context is what context is the application currently looking at um, and it gets really deep but basically what it means is how is the application currently running what is currently on the screen and it gets really deep we're not there yet so just kind of you know drink the kool-aid and just agree for a moment so what we're doing here is we're saying when the raise button is pressed the navigator of the current context is going to push named now what that means is there's push and pop push means like you're going to push something onto a table you're going to push a a new screen out there pop means you're going to pull it away why is it called push and pop well those are actually you know legacy terms from the old c c plus plus days that have just kind of carried over into every language out there in existence so we also need our little semicolon there now push named this is the actual route uh, the route does not exist yet and we will build that here in a second but we're going to have this on every single screen here. So that is kind of the basic design pattern. And I'm going to actually start my virtual device here. I'm going to start a different device. I'm going to use the Pixel XL. Shiny and new. Let that thing boot up. All right. So while that is booting up, we are going to just copy that. Make a new file. We'll call this second.dart. And we'll make yet another file, third.dart. My phone made the weirdest noise. I don't know what is up with this. I need a whole new phone. All right, so second, and we'll call this second. This is the second screen. And we want this to go to the third screen. Pretty simple. I mean, it's exactly the same. Now, the third screen, we're going to do something a little bit different here. We're going to paste that in. Spell third correctly is what we're going to do. And uh, let's see, on this one... We're going to actually just copy and paste this. All right, so on the third screen, what we want to do is show how to go backwards. Uh, so let's say we want to go backwards in time, and we actually didn't put any text in these, did we? Well, boogie. fix these real quick while I'm in here thinking about it. There we go. And there's our raise button. Let's fix that in our second one too. Now, let's actually just wipe both of these out and redo them. All right, so back to where we were. We want this button to be the back button, not the back button, geez. Back button. And instead of push named, we want to pop. Pop's just going to go backwards. Now, this one, we want to go back to the home screen. And this one gets a little bit different, and you'll see why here in just a second. Actually, let's just fix this up and run it real quick, and then I'll show you exactly what's going on here. All right, so we're going to actually import a few things here. Import package.
All right, so we're going to import those screens. Now, in our routes, we need to actually flesh these routes out. And we do that using this syntax right here. Meaning, we're going to give it the route, say home. Build context, and we're going to give it the context. So basically what this is saying is when the home route is called slash home, and you can name this pretty much whatever you want. I just like using the slash slash home, then it's going to create a new home under the current build context. That may not be a thousand percent accurate, but I think you get the, the gist of it. And then we're going to make our third. All right, so we've got that. We've got our little emulator up and running with a whole ton of apps on there. Let's save this, give it a good build, push it out to the emulator, and see what happens. Now, the concept of a route is actually a little more involved, especially in other frameworks. Um, routes can get really kind of messy, um, and you end up tracking a lot of the stuff under the hood yourself. Uh, some frameworks don't even have the concept of a navigator, and you actually have to kind of build your own navigator class, which is a royal pain. This actually is pretty uh, pretty seamless, and I like it. Uh-oh, what is this? Home oh, yeah, we didn't set the home, that's why. All right, so hot reload should pick that up. There we go. So this is our home screen. If we hit next, you can see how it takes us to this is the second screen. And we have this little back arrow here, and we can click back, and it goes to the home. That's called intrinsic. I think that's called intrinsic, intrinsic or internal navigation. I don't remember, but in part, that's the navigator class helping us out here. I think um, I could be dead wrong. That might be part of the app bar, but uh, let's just go with it. So, anyways, you can click next. It goes to second. You can click next again. It goes to third. Now, if I click back, it goes back to second. So I can go second, third back and forth, back and forth. Now, this time, if I want to go home, you see how there's home, but it has this little arrow up here, which takes us back to third. Well, let's say we want to get rid of that arrow. Then we need to do something a little bit different here. So what we need to do is let's go back into third. And instead of push named, what we're going to do is we're going to dot, and this is a little little bit of a long one it's called push named and remove until wow that's a long one so what this bad boy does ow I just hit my funny bone and that was not funny gosh and here I'm all worried about coughing and I'm like jacking up my elbow <laughs> so here what we need to do is actually just say route and we want a dynamic Let me see if I can push this over here a little bit. That way you can actually see what's going on. So what we're doing here is we're saying the route of a type dynamic, which is actually a route variable, is false. So basically we're just going to keep going until we get to the home screen. So what this thing really does is it's going to push through that whole route list. It's going to say bang, bang, bang until it gets to home, and then it's just going to remove everything else. Hence the removed until. All right, so let's hot reload this. Actually, let's push it back out. Next, next, back works as expected. Home, bang, there's suddenly no arrow. So that is what the push named and removed until does in case you ever need that functionality. And then it just works as expected. So that is routing, and that is how you would get around from, uh, I should say routing and navigation, that is how you would get around from one screen to the next. Now, some things to kind of pay attention to for design patterns is you'll notice that each screen is building an entire new app bar in itself. Um, 
that's kind of just the way I've done it. Um, and then what I do is I take the app bar and I put it into its own special class. That way every single one of these uses the exact same app bar and then the app bar is rebuilt every single time. Um, if you don't do that, one thing that I've noticed is you'll get double app bars. Like you'll have home here and you'll have another blue bar underneath, underneath it. Um, so you kind of got to be careful about that. Um, this is just one of many ways to navigate around your application, but it's probably one of the simpler ones and I wanted to cover it first.